Forcing me to do her yard work. What's wrong with her? It sure is a nice day, neighbor. It sure is a nice day, neighbor. Oh, man. I think Meanie's been turned into a robot. <laughs> Wally, give me that. Let's go. Wally, buddy, you gotta help me. Meanie's been replaced by a robot. What? It's just like those Space Invaders movies. First, they start by changing one. But soon, they take over the neighborhood and turn everyone into robots, man! Yeah, yeah, I remember that movie. I couldn't sleep for a week. Wally, you will become one of us. I don't want to be a robot. Then we've got to stop her. But how? Water! If she's a robot, yeah, a spray of water will make her short circuit all kaplooey. Yeah. But Robot Meanie needs is a speedish car wash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go tell Meanie we're gonna wash her car. Then I'll get her to show us how to open the hood. When I give you this signal, you turn on the water full blast. Yeah, the signal. Ah, neighbor. Uh, yeah. Uh, look, we want to wash your car for you, Meanie. That's a neighborly thing to do. Work, work, work. Yes, get to work, neighbor. You'll do a nice job, I'm certain, because it's such a nice day. Why didn't it work? Woody, the horse is... Oh! It was his idea. I didn't know it would go all kaplooey. No problem, neighbor. It's nothing a little elbow grease can't fix. You'll need some sheet metal, a radiator, some primer, new tires. And while you're out, why don't you neighbors stop and have an ice cream on me? Uh, oh, robot, 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 robot. We gotta get proof Meanie's a robot. And a picture's worth a thousand words. When I climb up and throw the rope down, you come up after me. Then we'll sneak in through her chimney and catch Meanie robot-handed. A-okay, Wally! Move. Oh, it's you, hurry up! Oh, oh, boy. oh, my lucky day! I think we made some noise with that. Accidents happen, neighbors. But I'll clean it up. Then I think I'll go clean up every house on the block. Oh! It's only a matter of time before everyone on the block is turned into robots. We have to go set up this electromagnet and zap her circuits good, yeah? <laughs> This will be the power source. Once we plug the wires in, it'll magnetize the whole upstairs of the house. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, oh, my bad. 
well, Buckle. Get me down, Wood Girl. This home is a happy home. This home is a happy home. This home is a. to better myself, to be a nicer person, but what does it get me? Deadly squat! Ah! How could this home ever be a happy home when I got two loons living next to me? It sure is nice to have the neighborhood back to normal. Ah, you said it, Woodpecker. No more robots. Maybe I ought to burn your houses down. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Bird Boy? Finders keepers laws do not apply in this territory. I have one day's R&R, &R, and I have requisitioned this fuel for myself. Dismissed! Short stuff, uh, no, uh, sudden moves. Well, this thing could, uh... <laughs> Halt in the name of the Antarctic Cop! One military issue combustibles container, and I cannot allow his transfer to non military personnel without form 5674 and 127 broke. In triplicate, 
You're a snappy dresser, but you're not too government savvy, are you? Hasta till next time! I outrank you. Who could that be? Yes? Oh, a salesman. You're selling a satellite dish that'll get this soldier 500 channels? Perhaps no creature has adapted better to this cold climate than the penguin. Every day, these noble, flightless birds must use their wits to survive. <laughs> It's you again! of salt. Ah! Half ton of flour. Turn off stove. Kiss the fish. Okay, stand on one foot, cover your eyes, and count to 100. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Whoa, gourmet cooking is hard. Nine. Sold out, pal. This line is for people who bought in advance. I just gotta see my favorite players up close. <gasps> Twiggy. That sports nut is more loaded than the bases before a grand slam. Oh, oh, oh. maybe you'll buy these underwears worn by Big Butt McGurney in the. Uh, we're out of the sweaty underwear business, Twiggy. You and me is now in the stealing this woodpecker's wallet business. Oh, <laughs> oh. We gotta get him out of this crowd. I told you, the game is sold out! <laughs> Hello, sports fan. Looking to see some big time baseball stars up close and personal? Ah, uh, I can't. The game's sold out. Oh, well, I am Coach Buzz Buzzard from Buzzard's Fantasy Baseball Camp. Where you get to play real baseball with real baseball stars. And today I'm offering one lucky sports fan, yeah, that would be you, a free membership. Just follow us. Free? Woohoo! Take me out to the fantasy ball game. What kind of sports camp is this? What? Uh, well, it's the kind that's uh, out of the way. So
those big baseball stars can hang out real private. Great, let's get the plan. Oh, yeah. Hey, why don't you go through the clubhouse there? Whew. Smells more like an outhouse. Stealing this room's wallet's gonna be tougher than I figured, Tweaky. Go make us a baseball field, and fast. Memorial Stadium. This is a cornfield. Oh, it's the uh, field of my dreams. Hey, uh, yeah, let's get you uh, warmed up. We'll use our new automatic pitching machine. Uh, you stand right here. Tweaky, get the wallet. Okay, I'm ready to play with the stars. <laughs> yeah, well, not until. Uh, well, you still need to work on your. Uh... That's it. A real pro knows how to slip and slide with the best of them, sport. And I'll give you a little something extra to get you going. Excuse me? Huh? Oh, I said I'll uh, give you some extra pointers to get you going. Now, try a head voice slide. It'll get you into base faster. <laughs> you were sliding. Yeah, there's no stars at this camp. I'm out of here. Wait, I think I see one of the biggest baseball stars of all time. Tweaky, go be a star player or we'll lose this jump for good. Your fantasy camp is nothing but a fantasy, Coach Buzzard. Indeed he do. May I give you the famous Babe Birdie? Ah, I'm the world's biggest baseball star. Hmm, how come I never heard of him? He's, uh, the best kept secret in baseball? So, you think you're pretty good stealing and running and stuff, huh? Well, I bet you can't handle my pitching. Give him your best shot, sport. I'll teach these low balls to use baseball to steal a guy's wallet. Batter up! Knock him in the next week, Tweaky. Then we'll get his wallet and van moose. Yourself to a meatball. <laughs> My custom slider. <laughs> Watch out for my bee ball. Twinkie. We'll get his wallet if it's the last thing we do. Oh, the woodpecker's running third for home. Yeah, and you're gonna be out cold at home. The woodpecker makes a spectacular catch. Would you look at that woodpecker play ball? in play. Big Butt McGurney? Wow! W would you sign my glove? You know, anybody who loves baseball the way you do deserves a front row seat to the big game today, Mr. Woodpecker. <laughs> Next time, we watch the game on TV. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. 
enjoys packing away the groceries. <laughs> am I right or am I right? <laughs> the answer is D. I am always right. Yeah. Oh, and uh, because you are a culinarian of the highest order, I am about to introduce to you a revolutionary new device that will give you free chow for life. May I present... Tum -ta -ta -tum. The fabulous food box by Scamco. <gasps> it's a shipping crate. Oh, it may look like an ordinary shipping crate, but can an ordinary crate turn any object into delicious food? Okay, prove it. No problem. <laughs> How's about a fresh glass of water made from, say, uh, this old nail? One fresh glass of water, oh fabulous food box! Oh, a glass of water coming up. Huh? Huh? There's probably water in that pipe. No sneak previewing. Wow! Ooh. Ooh. Wow! Wow! Oh, well, I'll check on your water. Yeah, quick, Twiggy. Make like a cork and plug that leak. So, how many boxes you want, sport? Not so fast. Let me see you turn this hubcap into a large pizza. Oh, you boy, you boy, you don't. One super deluxe pizza pie on the double. Oh, fabulous food box. Pizza's ready! So, you're gonna buy the box now? Pack it! Sure, sure. <laughs> After dessert. Hey, make me an ice cream cone from, uh, this rock. Ow! One ice cream cone, oh fabulous food box. We're recalling the rocky road, but you can have this rock. Look, you crazy woodpecker. You only get inside the box after you pay. Wow! Rocky Road, my favorite. I love this box. <laughs> and I love your dough. My very own fabulous food box. I'll never be hungry again. One grilled cheese sandwich, please. Extra greasy. Hmm, must be ready. That's the worst grilled cheese sandwich I ever had. Hey, what's the big idea? So that's it. They were scamming me with food from the buffet. 
the second sitting is about to begin. Hey, Bob, we gotta talk. Hmm? Wow! Hey, boss, isn't that the sucker we just suck at a lot? But that's impossible! I uh, <laughs> think we might have sold you a defecative food box there, sport. No, oh, yeah, we might need to recall this model for ourselves and such. He uh, means for uh, retooling purposes, that is. Whoa. Uh, let me take a quick look, see inside. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Boss, it's working! Food! Oh, food, food, food! It's really making food, Twiggy. We gotta take this box in for some serious service and sport. It's gonna cost ya. Oh, uh, here's your 50 bucks back. You want me to give up free food for life for a lousy 50? No way! Fine, fine, take everything I got. Just give me the box. <laughs> Just thinking about all that food's making me stronger, boss. It seems lighter already. We just made the find of a lifetime. Woohoo! Ten, fifteen, twenty. That should cover the food they stole from you. And here's an extra five for my ticket to the buffet. No, 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 no. This one is on the house, Woody. <laughs> Sports fans, the fate of the upcoming hockey season rests in the hands of one world-famous super scout. Slapshot Smedley, who has never failed to discover the newest hockey sensation, headed off to frigid Antarctica today in search of new talent that fans hope will rejuvenate the troubled sport. World-famous hockey scout, Slapshot Smedley, and I just love discovering new hockey players. Yep, you get me a boy with raw talent, and I'll train him to be tomorrow's hockey superstar today. Well, I'll be. Here I come all the way to the frigid Antarctic to find a hot new prospect, and he goes and finds me. You're some skater, boy, but you gotta learn how to use a door. I've never seen a hot prospect yet who can resist Slapshot Smedley's special signing bonus. <laughs> Fast, small fry. You're the property of the International World Hockey League, and I show now. So listen up. My reputation's on the line, and before I auction your hockey services off to the highest bidder, I want to make sure we smooth off all your rough edges, if you catch my drift. He may be fast, but he ain't the sharpest blade on the ice. First thing you need to do is test your speed and maneuverability. Let's see how fast you can skate around all those little old hockey sticks. Young hot shots come and go, but the stopwatch never lies. Now what is he? <laughs> On the other hand, speed can be a tad overrated. You new 
the prospects are all alike. You want the fame and the big money and the trading card with your picture on it, but you don't want to work for it. Well, Slapshot Smedley knows how to deal with the likes of you. Now this here drill is to test your face-off skills. Super Scout Slapshot Smedley is about to learn you one big time hockey move. That's how the seasoned pros do it. Go on, son. Don't be intimidated just because you saw the best in the business do it first. Give it your best shot. You gotta build the new one's confidence a smidge at first. Now I know why they call it a face-off. This boy sure better bring in the crowds, cause something tells me he's gonna cost us a fortune in stacks. Okay, little fella, time to find out about your goaltending skills with a little help from the latest technology in hockey scout. You're supposed to bat him out of the way. Oh, let me show you. Fire that puck chucker up, boy. It's all in the rest action. Oh, sure. I had to find the only hockey player in the world who's more interested in sticks than money. Son, something tells me you're gonna be a natural for a barbecue endorsement. But you gotta play some hockey first. I know just how to tame this pesky little prima donna. Say there, boy, how's about we work on your body checking skills? I'm gonna check this boy so hard his whole family's gonna feel it. That'll get his mind in this game for certain. <laughs> season sure could use a new player if the sport is to be saved. Let's just hope that Slapshot Smedley can come up with one. That does it. I've had it with you, you no-talent, unathletic supporter, you. I'm through with today's prima donna athletes. I'm going back to scouting girls high school volleyball. Stay away from me forever, penguin. Oh, too bad. For the first time in his legendary career, Slapshot Smedley has failed to discover a new hockey sensation. And so, I'm afraid, this entire season is being canceled due to lack of interest, folks. But in its place, we bring you the world's best-loved campfire songs. Lover, I'm here to tell you about Colonel Pop's Sweet Corn Chunk Sweepstakes. Here's your game piece, and good luck. Oh, boy. I won! Woohoo! Woody Woodpecker, you've just won your very own farm. Imagine it. Hi, 
Hush up. I'm getting you the only thing there is to eat in this here swamp. Mud pies. Say, Bob, I want to sweep steaks, and I'm taking over the Colonel Pop's corn farm. Do you know where it is? You city folk are funny. <laughs> Seems you got all turned around. Colonel Pop's corn farm is, uh... uh -huh. Why, the farm is, uh... Right here, you've arrived. <laughs> uh, excuse me, just a country say. I'm the new farm caretaker, <laughs> Gabby Gator. Whoa. Yeah. Here's your farm, son. This is a swamp. Right, a uh, swamp farm. <laughs> Look, Bob, I won myself a farm with all the trimmings. So, where's my tire swing? Uh, isn't that it over there? Where? Oh, oh, oh. silly me. My mistake, it's over here. Woohoo! And where's my corn? <laughs> Where's my... Oh, you city folk. This isn't swamp corn season. Well, then where's the corn grub, Bob? Oh, yes! Come right up. Now you just enjoy yourself, son. Tractor coming right up. I'll teach this gear never to mess with a woodpecker again, much less try to eat one. <laughs> <laughs> Swing, Gabby. I want corn fritters, Gabby. Let me drive a tractor, Gator. Oh, I tell you, it's no good when dinner bosses you around. Oh! a fashion show here. I, I've been waiting for the Colonel Pops contest winner to arrive, but some dumb gator's been causing me a whole heap of trouble. 
you haven't seen him, have you? Hey, I'm the contest winner. <laughs> and there's your dumb gator. <laughs> Come here, you corn nap and varmint. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Hot diggity. I wonder where I should go on vacation. German Polynesia? Home of the Hula Frows. One first class ticket to German Polynesia, please. That'll be seven thousand dollars. Seven thousand? All I got is seventy-five bucks. That's only enough to send your luggage. Then uh just send my suitcase, Bub. Here's your hmm, tourists. Ow. Ooh. No way to travel. Which way to first class? Now this is how a woodpecker was meant to fly. Hello. <gasps> Welcome to paradise in the skies. Whoa. Are you flying on business today? Oh, no. I'm on vacation. And, uh, call me Woody. Ooh. <laughs> you are so cute! Then, Vilad, would you like a tour of my home island? Yeah? Oh, yeah! And, uh, while we're in the air, how's about you give me a tour of that buffet over there? <sighs> this is the life. <laughs> Oh, Inga, my most favorite flight attendant in the whole world. Look what I bought for you. <laughs> Woody, my little Woodla, there are you. Don't be gone long, Inga. <laughs> For the chocolates, bub. But Inga's my first class date, so hands off. Look what I got for you, Inga. Oh, Woody, how nice. Yeah, they just had you written all over them. Why that no good, Inga thief? Whoa! Passengers, please buckle your seatbelts. We are proceeding to take off. My <laughs> woodpecker. Didn't you hear, tourist? Passengers to your seat. Hey, what's the big idea? I'm from first class. Ask Inga. Inga! My biggest rule in tourist class is shut your yap unless you're eating chicken or fish. Do I look like I have all day? Get me the fish. Ha! This is Horace Club. Get it yourself, Woodpecker. Hiya, buddy. Gonna eat that? Sure. Knock yourself out, bub. <laughs> I gotta get back to first class. Uh, this is the captain speaking. Would flight attendant Inga please come to the flight deck? Inga to the flight deck, please. Ready to log some frequent suspender miles, bub? 
Um, a beautiful attendant like you is right here with me. Oh, 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 oh my! Well, you know, you don't have to go to first class to be treated like first class, Escargot. Oh, yucka. I mean, yoy, you bet. But, uh, mm, I will need something to wash them down with. You just sit right there, my big pumpernickel. Back in a jiff! Woodpecker! <laughs> Would the Tendeninga please come to the flight deck at once? Yeah, you bet. Now I fix that woodpecker. <laughs> Oh, Woody, meet me in the flight attendant's lounge? Yeah. Flight attendant's lounge? It's right there, Woodpecker. Now it's just you and me, Inga. What have I done? <laughs> I want to live! Don't worry, Walrus. Our love was meant to live! My hero! We're together now and never have to fly solo again! <laughs> Welcome to German Polynesia. Now this is a vacation. Death soldiers had some tough fights in the corps, but nothing like this cold and flu. <laughs> That's right, Doc. I am so sick. Get here as soon as you can. Uh, an Antarctic Corps soldier is never supposed to leave his command post. Unless it's just too darn sick to stand up. Now that's not too comfy. <sighs> ah, Roger, we'll go over now, Bob. <laughs> yes, sirree. Bob's chicken soup will have her little soldier boy on his feet and feel ready before you can say. <laughs> hmm, that was quick. Love, Bob, Bob. Smells like penguin.
Baba's chicken soup. <laughs> I gotta get to bed. <laughs> uh, that pig was running me so ragged. I'm running fever for sure. Oh no! Gotta cool this fever ASAP! <laughs> This calls for a little military strategy. I'll just head that pig went off at the pass and take care of my fever at the same time. A little trick I learned in survival training. Now that's a top secret operation done right. Ah, I must be allergic to penguins. I need, I need sleep. I need medical attention. I, I, need, I need my mommy. <laughs> now that little tuxedo wearing thief won't be able to steal this hot water bottle without waking me. That's army intelligence. Huh? Thank goodness you're here. Tell me what I got. Ah! Wow! Oof! Yeah. I knew it. It got to come out, I bet. Okay. I can shake it like a show you. Yes, you'll do. I'll do what? Mr. Woodpecker, how would you like to make a million dollars? A million bucks? Where do I sign? Snazzy Motorcycles is proud to make you its new spokesman. And you get to ride that in the big race today. Wow-wee! 
Oh, Tweaky will never have to scam again. Not after my new motocross protege snags that million dollar contract. Ha <laughs> ha, uh, who's your new protege, boss? Well, duh, it's you, Nitwit. But first, we've got to get rid of that woodpecker. Whoa. Bellissimo. Well, hello there, chump. I mean the chump. I'm Ansel Buzzard, Snazzy Cycles Photographer of the Stars. I'm Woody Woodpecker, soon to be millionaire and owner of this cool bike. Oh, good, good. Well, I'm here to shoot you. I need to, that is, shoot your picture for Snazzy's big billboards. <laughs> Tilt your head back. I want to expose, ah, I mean to see your chin. Like this? That's perfect. Now watch out for the little baby. Oh, a lucky penny. Ah! What was that? Ah, probably some of your adoring motor psycho fans. Uh, let's move out of the limelight, shall we? I think I might hurt you. Oh, Mr. Woodpecker, we're ready for you on the photo set. I'm sure you're a photographer of the stars. Oh, but of course. I shot them all. Ursa Minor, Canis Major, surely you've heard of them. Uh, yeah, surely. Now ride straight up that hill and we'll myrtleize you. I mean, it will immortalize you. <laughs> uh, film is forever. Unlike woodpeckers who are done for. Oh, boy. Do something about the flesh. Hey, there was no film in that camera. What the heck's going on around here, bub? Uh, I must have forgot to load the film. Yeah, we'll get it right next time. This is the last shot. If you don't get me this time, I'm leaving for the race. I'll get you this time. Uh, see? Film! This quick dry and cement was pure genius, Tweaky. Now we'll get rid of this blockhead once and for all. He sure is happy for a little guy, boss. Now to dump him off the cliff and make you the Snazzy Cycles poster boy. Wow. wow. So, but you could get rid of me and take my million bucks, eh? Uh, no, pal. It was nothing like you think. It was all a misunderstanding. Yeah. The race is about to begin. All entrance to the starting line. So long, suckers. <laughs>
a million buck contract. <laughs> oh, try to fire me, will ya? Looks like you got turned into poster boys, eh? 